when we enter into the orange tier, indoor dining will be allowed. To protect customers and workers, the County of Santa Clara has created a set of mandatory directives as to how dining facilities should operate for both indoor and outdoor dining. First, prior to opening, all businesses must fill and submit a social distancing protocol at covid19prepared.org. This social distancing protocol must be printed and posted near the entrance for visibility. Second, all businesses are required to read and follow the mandatory directives for dining facilities issued by the County of Santa Clara at the link below. Here are the general requirements for all dining establishments. Customers must wear face coverings at all times when they are inside or outside the facility and when not eating or drinking. Dining establishments must advise and, as necessary, remind customers of the face covering requirements and refuse entry to customers who decline to wear face coverings. Staff must wear face coverings at all times while at the facility either indoors or outdoors. Businesses are responsible for ensuring that staff wear face coverings at all times. After sanitizing each table between customer parties, dining establishments must place a sign or card to remind customers of face covering requirements. Facilities must separate all tables by at least 10 feet to allow adequate social distancing between customers seated at different tables and other customers accessing their tables. Before seating the next party, thoroughly clean and sanitize the eating and drinking location, including tables and chairs. Require servers to wash or sanitize their hands between visiting each party. Customers must be seated to eat or drink and tables must be limited to no more than six people per table. Facilities are still required to offer curbside pickup, takeaway, and or delivery services alternatives to on-site dining. Additional requirements for all outdoor dining establishments are as follows. To operate for outdoor dining service, a business must meet the outdoor facility criteria and allow for the free flow of outdoor air through the entire space. The business is strongly encouraged to use, prioritize, and expand outdoor space for dining whenever feasible. Advise customers that if they are dining outdoors, they may enter indoor areas only to access a restroom, access an outdoor dining facility or order or pick up food and beverages at an indoor counter. Live entertainment would be allowed while following the guidance in our directive. Additional requirements for all indoor dining establishments are as follows. The number of customers in the indoor dining facility must be limited to the lesser of 25% of the capacity for the dining area or 100 customers total for the indoor dining facility. The business must require at least one customer from each party seated together to sign in upon entering the establishment or in advance via remote sign-in. Records must be maintained at least 21 days. The establishment must post a sign identifying the maximum number of customers allowed to dine inside the facility at any time and strictly monitor and control the flow of traffic into and out of the facility to ensure that capacity limits are not exceeded. Indoor dining establishments must verbally inform customers 
and post signage that everyone sharing a table must be from the same household. Indoor dining establishments must stop serving food and beverages to customers dining inside the establishment at or before midnight and may not resume indoor dining service until 5 a.m. Customers may not be served directly at a bar counter. For indoor dining operations, alcohol may only be sold to customers in the same transactions as a meal and can only be served while customers are seated at their tables. Open doors and windows, particularly in customer dining areas, to maximize the circulation of outdoor air whenever environmental conditions and building requirements allow. Indoor dining establishments with central air handling HVAC systems must ensure that HVAC systems are serviced and functioning properly. Here are the requirements for bars, wineries, and smoking lounges. Bars, breweries, brew pubs, pubs, distilleries, and wineries that do not serve meals may provide sit-down service to customers outdoors in accordance with the rules for outdoor dining set forth in Section 1 and 2 of this directive and the following additional requirements. Alcohol must be served to customers only while they are seated at their tables and customers may not be seated or served at a bar counter. Customers partaking in outdoor service may enter inside the establishment only to use a restroom, for takeaway sales, or to access an outdoor space that may only be accessed by traveling through the establishment. Indoor services to customers are not allowed unless they provide sit-down meal service, either themselves or under contract with a third-party vendor, and operate in accordance with the rules for indoor dining set forth in sections one and three of the directive. Smoking lounges may operate outdoors in accordance with the rules for outdoor dining guidance. Smoking lounges may not operate indoors except for the following. Take away retail sales and indoor dining. Thank you. My name is Rodrigo Garcia, Public Information Officer for the County of Santa Clara.